say it's got more of a, you know, yeah. traditional. Yeah. You know what? I think it would be cool. We, we've been talking, actually the first time I played with Rez, I think was with uh, Sandeep. He was subbing for Paul uh, on that gig when we played uh, Trio, and it was fantastic. He has a, um, also he, he has a sitar guitar, which is sort of, not a lot of guys have that. And his group is really steeped in the Indian uh, music. So um, we had been talking for some time about doing something together. And then when this project came up, it, he was the you know, obvious choice for me. The first time I played with Gary was in Portland, Oregon. We used to live out there, and uh, man, I was just blown away. He's so musical and can do so many different things. So for this project, uh, and I thought I might want to have accordion on some stuff, and and also uh, Gary is kind of a musician that can just cover such a wide range that uh, he seemed like the the logical choice. And and he's he actually plays accordion on a couple of numbers, which. On one of the numbers is sort of more somebody saw on the second chakra is more uh, like a Brazilian baião, which has accordion as the uh, traditional instrument. It's, it's usually a bomba accordion and triangle. And then the other one is uh, more Indian, and the accordion, the way he plays it, sort of more emulates a harmonium. Todd actually, of all the guys, is the only one who's recorded with me before. He, he appears on a few tracks on my third CD, Now Becoming That. Uh, he played uh, some Kenjira on that, he played some frame drums. So um, we had worked together before, and uh, Todd is unique in that he's one of the few people that I know that has really bo studied both Brazilian and Indian percussion. He's actually studied, he actually has a book out called You Can Talk a Dimi This. <laughs> and uh, so it's a, it's a book on um, Indian rhythms. And he's gone to Brazil and taught there and studied there. So uh, he, for me, was a very logical choice because we had worked together before and I knew that uh, he had this deaf foot in both worlds. And especially for him, for that, for the percussion share, it's especially important for someone to sort of understand both sides of the equation because it's really de you know delicate as to what instrument you play where to bring out what what, what flavor what whether it's Indian or Brazilian kind of thing and he, he has all of that at his in his repertoire so uh, it was perfect choice. <laughs> Adam, it's amazing. Now, Adam and I had never played together before, before this project. And um, I, I had heard him play a number of times and was just knocked out by, uh, I heard him with uh, David Sanchez and with Danilo Perez. I heard him with uh, John Gordon's group, Jess Standard. And just, again, his uh, diversity of playing. He also had some experience with Paquito and, and other groups and obviously, you know, deep Latin tradition um, and someone who is really comfortable with odd meters and and after hearing him play and hearing him with some of the other groups I just was hearing his sound in the group and I, I think he and Johannes got a school together they had some experience playing together which also I think is important I always try to find if I'm putting a band together of people who have experience playing with each other like Gary and Rez have played together in Reza's group and Johannes and Adam had experience playing together. Um, and I think that that's important. Uh, 
Uh, it's not absolutely necessary, but I, I think it's important that people have a sort of a history that they bring to the group. Johannes is another uh, musician I've known for a long time. Since I moved to town, we used to play sessions, and uh, I remember playing trio with him and Ari Hone a couple times. It was just really incredible. Uh, he's another, that's the thing about New York, there's so many great musicians you play with, and man, I'd love to work with these guys and document uh, stuff with them. Uh, uh, I asked Johannes, because I've been wanting to work with him for a while, but also Johannes is someone who has um, experience uh, playing Indian projects, and he's also done stuff with uh, Luciano Sosa, the uh, Brazilian singer, so he's had a foot in each world a bit, and I thought he was someone that would be great and really understand the project and be able to bring his experience to it. Our first performance, premiere performance, just really confirmed it for me. And confirmed for me how great these musicians are because, you know, I, I knew if I just wrote the music and put trust in them, gave them the, the space and put my trust in them, that they would uh, make some great stuff with it, which they, which they really have. Uh, and um, what really impressed me was how they, uh, and I knew they would, but how each of them really dove into it. You know, Todd and I got together on a couple of occasions and just really talked about stuff. And, and, I, and for me, it's such an honor to play with musicians of this level, and not only play great, but, but are really serious about your project. You know, it's not just, okay, you know, show up and read the music. I mean, these guys really, Gary would sit at the piano, was working all this, and hey, why don't we try this? And Red, like I said, Rez had some great ideas, and we were do, working on one rhythmic thing in Vishuddha, and it wasn't quite coming off, and, and Adam suggested that, um, you know, why don't we, this would, it would feel easier for me this way, and why don't we try, Try this, and, and it actually worked. It ended up sounding better, and uh, I'm, I'm just thrilled to be playing with musicians who are so dedicated to the art and so selfless to throw themselves into a project like that. <laughs>